Hi, hello, sao bona, do me lang. I'm Sasko Sam and I love helping people. I also love to tell stories, especially to children who enjoy reading. My favorite word in the whole wide world is siasizana, which means we are helping each other. This word makes me happy and puts a great big smile on my face. I want to introduce you to my five very special friends who care so much about each other. They help one another and share a lot of fun and adventures together. Meet my five friends. Buffalo. Elephant. Lion. Rhino. Leopard. This story is about Buffalo who is hooked on books. Let's start reading. Buffalo loves books. His favorite part of reading books is opening a new book. Once he starts reading a book, he finds it very hard to put it down. He reads and reads and reads. When he reads, he imagines he's in another place. An exciting, wonderful and sometimes magical world. He loves stories about adventures, stories about animals and best of all, fun stories about amazing places and interesting things. The truth is out. Buffalo is hooked on books. Buffalo didn't realize it, but the more he reads books, the more he learns. He was learning new words. He was getting wonderful ideas. He was learning about how to do new things. He was learning about other people and other countries. Some books were mystery stories and he was learning how to be a detective. Some books were even so funny he would laugh out loud to himself. <laughs> Buffalo didn't only enjoy storybooks, he also loved his puzzle books. Playing with numbers and words was such fun. Elephant was so proud of Buffalo. He could write perfect sentences. Lion was impressed because Buffalo could solve a crossword puzzle in just a few minutes. Rhino said to Buffalo one day, You must be the best in the world at crossword puzzles because you do them so quickly. Leopard could not believe how Buffalo always knew the answers to all the questions. Buffalo also did very well at school. His report card from his teacher was always good. A plus, Buffalo's report. Buffalo is a very good learner. He must be congratulated on his ability to read. He is a quiet pupil who gets on well with his work. He is a pleasure to teach. But... Some of the other animals teased him and were mean to him about his reading. They called him names like Bookworm Buffalo or Boring Buffalo because his nose was always buried in a book. Sometimes all you could see of Buffalo were his horns sticking out over the top of his book. The other animals talked about him behind his back. What a nerd, said Hornbill. What a silly, big, useless lump, said Porcupine. What a boring creature, said Meerkat. Crocodile, who was a great swimmer, was snappy to Buffalo because he was scared of deep water. He couldn't believe Buffalo would rather read than go swimming in the river. Hippo, who loved to brag about everything he did, teased Buffalo because he was shy and quiet and didn't make much noise. Giraffe, who loved sport, was mean to Buffalo because he couldn't kick a soccer ball. Once, Giraffe kicked him hard on his leg while he was playing with a soccer ball. Ouch! Crocodile nipped him on his other leg when he went to the river to read. Ow! Buffalo's friends were worried about him because he was upset and sad. <laughs> Never mind, Buffalo, said Rhino. They are just bullies. Leopard got angry. Don't let them bully you, Buffalo. You are far cleverer than they are. Yes, said Lion. They're not worth worrying about. Elephant hugged Buffalo and said softly in his ear, They just don't understand that reading is so important. Lion called a meeting with Elephant, Rhino and Leopard. We need to help Buffalo so the others stop making fun of him, said Lion. I am going to teach him to run a little faster. 
The most important thing is to not let their words hurt him, said Rhino. I will teach him that. Leopard thought a while. Then he said, Buffalo is so clever. He will work it out. Elephant said, I love water. I will teach him to swim. One day, when Buffalo was reading quietly under a tree, he heard Giraffe muttering to himself nearby. Oh dear, I just can't work out how many t-shirts I need to get for the soccer tournament this weekend. If there are three teams and I need five spare shirts, how many do I need? Buffalo looked up from his book. You need 38 shirts. Giraffe looked at Buffalo. How do you know? He asked. Buffalo shrugged. It's easy to work out if you know all about numbers. There are 11 players in a soccer team. There are three teams. So that is 33 plus another five spares. That's a total of 38. Wow! Giraffe could not believe it. Buffalo might not be able to kick a ball, but he was smart enough to help him with his calculations. Giraffe told Hippo. Hippo told Crocodile. Crocodile told Porcupine. Porcupine told Hornbill. Soon everyone knew that Buffalo was clever and knew a lot because he read books. Suddenly, all the animals were coming to Buffalo for help. Can you help me write a letter to my gran? Asked Hippo. I've always wanted to play card games. Please will you teach me? Asked Crocodile. Do you think you could teach me to tell the time? Asked Porcupine. Can you help me read this recipe? Asked Hornbill. Very soon, Buffalo was very busy helping everyone. And guess what? Nobody ever teased him again because he couldn't run fast or kick a ball far, was afraid of heights or didn't like swimming. Buffalo was very happy and thought secretly, I think I love helping people almost as much as I love reading. I hope you enjoyed the story about Buffalo. He certainly showed us that the more you read, the more you learn. Let's share our thoughts about the story and talk about it. All of Buffalo's friends knew he was clever, but some of the other animals were mean to him. Why do you think they teased him? Giraffe and Crocodile bullied him and hurt him. How do you feel about that? Have you ever been mean to someone because they couldn't do something? What is it that you do well? Is it a sport, computer games, telling stories, writing or something else? Do you think one thing can be more important than another? We all have different things that we do well. How do you think we should treat people who like things that we don't? Can you imagine what it would be like if you were not able to read? You would not be able to drive a car. Can you think why? You would not be able to go shopping. Can you think why? Can you think of other things you would not be able to do if you couldn't read? Words we have learnt in this story. Snappy. To be cross or bad-tempered. Nipped. A little sharp bite. Mutter. To talk softly to yourself. Calculation to work something out using numbers. Do you enjoy reading? If you had to give yourself reading stars, how many would you give? Let's all sing together. Reading, sharing, learning, caring, help each other with storytelling. We all have to learn to read, then we can read to learn.